Hey, Justin Jackson here. I uh, just finished publishing my latest book, Jolt, and one of the most common questions I've had is how did I output it in all the different formats, all the different ebook formats? Uh, you'll see I offer it in EPUB, Mobi, and PDF formats. And when I was writing this book, I wanted to be able to write it in one place and just be able to publish it in these different formats all from the same place and do it with as little kind of tweaking and uh, formatting as possible. And I think I got pretty close. Now, for my previous book, I used something called Pressbooks. And this is what their, their marketing page looks like. And basically, it's built on top of WordPress. So I wrote marketing for developers in Pressbooks. Uh, this is what a chapter looks like. So you'll see this looks a lot like um, you know, a WordPress post. And when you go to export it, you can export it in Mobi, EPUB, and PDF. And this worked fairly well. Uh, they've got lots of different uh, themes to choose from. Uh, I used the how theme, and I think it turned out great. But I wanted to try something different this time. And so I used Readsy, readsy.com. If Pressbooks is like WordPress, then Readsy is like Medium. So you can actually write and edit right in context. What you see as you type is how it will basically look. And all of the chapters are listed on the side here. I actually found this really helpful to always have an outline of what I was working on while I was working on it. And I basically used Readsy to write the whole book. Uh, I did all my writing in Readsy. And when it comes time to export, you can export as, let's go over to the export page here. You can export it as an EPUB or a PDF. And they've got two different themes right now. Uh, they look really great. So let me just give you an example of how these came out. Here's the PDF. Okay, so you can see uh, there's the cover, really nice formatting and uh, Looks great, there's a table of contents. Here's a, a page with an image in it, which is one of the hardest things is to get these things to look good, even with images. Here's some footnotes that we have, um, another image. Here's the beginning of a chapter. I think it looks great. Uh, it'll also output EPUB, which is this right here. EPUB is the iBooks, Apple iBooks format. And again, I think it does a great job of outputting from one place to multiple formats. Now, once you have the EPUB output from Readsy, uh, you have to create the Mobi file yourself. And the way I did that is with uh, a tool called Caliber. That's it, this is it here. And what I did is I added the EPUB version. So I just went and got my EPUB version here and dragged it right into Caliber. And then I go to convert individually and I make sure all this metadata is correct. I go down to the output option and I chose Mobi and then I click OK. And then Caliber outputs it to a Mobi file. And here's what the Mobi file looks like. This is the Kindle, um, the Kindle Mac app. Let's just minimize this a little bit so you guys can see it. And again, the Mobi files are the hardest to deal with. Uh, they're especially difficult to get um, small. So originally I'd converted the uh, EPUB to Mobi using Amazon's Kindle tool but it came out still like 50 megabytes because of these images I have in here. And so I found Caliber's tool uh, was able to output it a lot nicer uh, and a lot smaller. This is about six megabytes. So if we look at the file sizes here, um, so the print ready output from Readsy is 113 megabytes, 114 megabytes. The regular PDF is 19 megabytes. The EPUB version is 16 megabytes. And then 
in order for Send to Kindle to work, it has to be under 10 megabytes, and we've got that down at 6.2 megabytes. So that's the key, is you want it, that Mobi file to be as small as possible. And to test that Kindle version, I had uh, a reader load it onto his Kindle and then send me screenshots. So here's what the cover looks like. Here's what the first page looks like. And like I said, this is the best Mobi output I've ever had. I had a lot of challenges with my previous book, Marketing for Developers. So these were the steps I followed. First, I wrote the book in readsy.com. I exported, when the book was done, I exported the PDF version from Readsy. I exported the EPUB version from Readsy. And then I used that EPUB version to create a Mobi file in an app called Caliber. Then I uploaded all those files to Gumroad where people could buy them with PayPal or the credit card. And that's basically it. If you have uh, any other questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter. I'm the letter M, the letter I, Justin. Or you can get me on Snapchat. I'm M-I, Justin, on there as well.